Hello and welcome to Random Things. This is Ty, and I'm going on a bike ride with my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. My, and they're on their fancy road bikes, and I'm hoping to keep up. Thinking a 40-mile ride with my Jupiter Defiant, so we'll see how it does. Let's get going. Hanging with the roadies. I think I need to stop filming so I can draft a little bit. Cause uh, I'm not really sure if this is gonna how the battery's gonna last for 40 miles. But so far, my legs are holding up, so still on PAS1. We'll see how it goes. This is one advantage of having a 55 pound bike. You can go 20 miles an hour downhill without any batteries and keep me up with the roadies. Now, they really wanted a book though. I don't know if I'm gonna keep up without actually engaging the motor. Right now, I'm really engaging the motor and doing okay. Keeping up with it. On the climb. Oh, I know I'm cheating, but it feels good. Just finished the climb, and now we're going downhill, so here's a little time lapse of that segment of the ride. At this stage of the ride, the group was too far ahead of me, so what you're hearing is the motor whining as I throttle down. I'm going about 25 miles an hour to catch up the group. Towards the end of the ride now, um, legs are burning, so I'm going to use a little bit more motor to help me keep up um, and stay with the group. Now we're reaching the final stage of the ride. I feel like this is like the Champs-Élysées stage of the Tour de France, although this is not the Champs-Élysées, but boy, that was pretty fun. Okay, so that was a fun ride and uh, super psyched that I didn't run out of battery and have to push the bike. Finished the ride, it was uh, 27 miles and uh, looks like I still got about 40 to 60 percent battery left. It's hard to tell, this is not super accurate, but I definitely still have quite a bit of juice left. Holy cow, did it burn! Well, I'm grateful for my brother and sister-in-law to let me tag along with my e-bike, um, the one oddball in the group. But um, it was really fun, as I said uh, many times. Um, so let's go over some key statistics. Um, overall, it was 27 and a half miles. Um, we didn't quite do the 40. I had just gotten off a of cruise and I didn't really have the legs. So I was really happy we actually didn't do a 40 mile ride. Um, but it looked like I may have had enough battery to do the 40 mile ride. So that part of it is what I really like about the Jupiter Defiant, especially when I compared the Defiant against my um, Electric XP 2.0. Now don't get me wrong, I love the Electric XP, um, but the one thing that I don't like about it is the battery range. And for some reason, the Jupiter just has a lot better range than the XP. So um, that's the biggest difference um, I find. Um, in terms of the Jupiter Defiant and the Electric XP. More back to this ride. Um, in terms of my average speed, it was around 14 and a half miles an hour, and the max speed was around 27. Now at that speed, we're going downhill, I had it on throttle, and on this particular Defiant, I had changed the rear cassette to a 1128, so that allowed me to actually add to it um, in this particular case as you're going downhill. So that made that uh, that downhill ride really fun. Um, overall elevation climb was about 1,000 feet between the ups and downs. So that really put the bike to the test. Um, and with the motor going uphill, um, that was really awesome. Um, I think that's really where I think it made a difference between me and my, uh, my brother-in-law and their friends um, on their road bike because uh, they really had the work going up that hill and I was just like dee -dee -dee, dee -dee -dee. So, hey, please don't be mad. Um, I'm not as strong as you all with the roadies, um, but the e-bike definitely lets me go out on the road and hang out with the roadies um, with these fancy bikes. 
So with that, I hope you found the video helpful and fun. If you did, please hit the like and share button. And if you're not subscribed, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. That would really help me out. Um, and as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.